good day everybody today we will be learning about the dynamic analysis in Caesar 2 software we all know that there are two type of analysis possible in Caesar 2 software one is called static analysis where we normally check whether all the stresses in static mode are within allowable limit or not and also the behavior we consider as static that means it does not vary with respect to time so in this specific course we will be learning the dynamic behavior of the piping system and we will see how Caesar 2 helps us or gives their different modules to help us in performing dynamic analysis of the piping systems the main points that I will cover in this specific course are first the course objective then what is included in this course the points or topics that I will be covering in this course then who is this course for so who should attend this course to get the maximum benefit out of this course then we will be moving to the dynamic analysis theory first so where we will be covering introduction to dynamic analysis next some slides explaining the differences between static and dynamic analysis means when normally we go for dynamic analysis and when we perform static analysis then types of dynamic analysis what are the various types of dynamic analysis methods that are available with Caesar 2 software and also in normal industry what are the methods that are performed and then we will be looking after some of the case studies one will be covering model analysis of case study we will be performing the actual model analysis in Caesar 2 software taking an example of a practical problem or practical model then we will be checking a case study of response spectrum method here also we will be taking a taking an example of earlier model system and we will be see how we can perform dynamic response spectrum analysis with that model then course objective this course is designed for intermediate pipe stress engineers who already know how to use Caesar 2 software please take a note of this that this course is not for the beginners who does not have any knowledge of pipe stress analysis software using Caesar 2 because I will not be explaining the basic modeling techniques for piping system I believe that the course whoever is taking have the background knowledge of modeling the piping systems and after that only he is attending this course if you are not aware of the modeling techniques using Caesar 2 software then I have separate courses you can find in Udemy or every inch website from that website you can attend or enroll those courses and you can then come back to this course this course will cover the steps for dynamic analysis now what are included the course will briefly cover the following a brief introduction stating what is dynamic analysis and when should we opt for dynamic analysis means there are two analysis methods as I already mentioned that one is static analysis and one is dynamic analysis in most of the cases we normally perform only static analysis and dynamic analysis is not required however for certain situations like slug flow analysis PSB reaction force or PSB discharge analysis earthquake problems sometimes client says that you have to perform dynamic analysis so in all those cases dynamic analysis is performed and this is in addition to the static analysis it is not that uh, you don't have to perform static analysis static analysis is the preliminary requirement for any dynamic analysis so you must have to qualify the system from static analysis considerations first and after that in addition to the static analysis you have to perform the dynamic analysis so in this introduction part we will be explaining what is dynamic analysis and when one should go for dynamic analysis 
then in the next module we will be learning the differences between static analysis and dynamic analysis what are the major differences between static analysis and dynamic analysis and what is the reason that dynamic analysis is considered to be more critical as compared to static analysis and normally beginner or preliminary and during preliminary analysis feed stage analysis dynamic analysis is not performed because there are various data involved which are not available during preliminary phase of the project so all those data will be available only during detailed design and during that time only dynamic analysis can be performed then the types of various dynamic analysis what are the specific different types of dynamic analysis that are available for piping systems and out of those available analysis types we will be taking a case study of modal analysis and a case study of response spectrum analysis these two analysis methodologies means modal analysis and response spectrum analysis will be covered in more depth or more details in our case studies now who is this course for this course will be suitable for piping stress engineers who have background knowledge of modeling piping systems in cesar2 software then piping lead engineers who reviews piping stress analysis systems so he should also have the background knowledge of dynamic analysis then mechanical piping engineers who wish to study the impact of dynamic forces in piping systems and plant piping engineers so all piping engineers whoever is interested in learning dynamic analysis or who performs dynamic analysis in their day to day activities they should take this course and they will be getting benefited from this course so let's learn what is dynamic analysis so dynamic analysis is the study of a fluid filled piping system to find the system response with respect to time so the main difference between static and dynamic analysis is that in static analysis it is be believed that the piping system gets sufficient time to be in equilibrium and whereas in dynamic analysis the piping system does not get sufficient time and the impact of the forces dynamic forces are instantaneous so the force does not get sufficient time to neutralize or to be in equilibrium position and because of that dynamic analysis or dynamic forces becomes more critical so it is with respect to time the dynamic behavior of the piping system is completely different from the static behavior in static analysis as the piping system gets enough time means this is a slow process sufficient time it gets to respond against the unbalanced forces let's take an example of the thermal force okay so in thermal force what happens the system becomes or system temperature increases slowly not immediately all of a sudden so the material temperature increases from its installed temperature to the operating or design temperature with respect to time it is very slow not immediate or not instant so that <coughs> they can respond against those unbalanced forces and enough time they get so the static analysis does not create much problem because of this but in dynamic analysis the impact of the forces is quick let's assume a slug force so all of a sudden slug force will be hitting the elbow we do not know at what instant it will be hitting it will be quick and also let's take an example of surge or water hammer problem so water hammer or surge that is uh, which is generated due to valve closure or pump trip so all of a sudden that will be hitting the elbow or directional changes of the pipe and it will be instant so in dynamic analysis the impact of force is quick and the unbalanced force so those dynamic forces generate a huge unbalanced force that can create havoc 
causing the piping system to fail. So in most of the time, this dynamic load, if not controlled properly, they can cause the failure to the piping system. Now purposes of dynamic analysis. What are the reasons that one should perform dynamic analysis of the piping system? So here some of the reasons are listed as we can study together that to avoid pressure pulsation in compressor system. In compressor system there are huge pressure pulsation specifically reciprocating compressor system. You may be never, uh, no, uh, you may be aware that for pressure pulsation uh, to check this pressure pulsation, pulsation study, separate pulsation study is performed by vendors. So after performing stress analysis, the complete marked up stress isometrics are sent to vendor for their analysis and then they recommend that uh, how to provide better supporting so that these pressure pulsations uh, are not more or vibration can be arrested. Then to avoid excessive loads and stresses due to sudden valve closure. This is related to surge or water hammer. So due to sudden valve closure, excessive loads or stresses may be generated in the system which can cause the failure of the piping system. So by performing a proper dynamic analysis, we can avoid excessive loads and stresses due to sudden valve closure. Third is to avoid excessive low frequency vibration. Fourth is to resist relief valve thrust loads. Fifth is to resist earthquake loads. Many of the clients tell that you perform the seismic analysis or earthquake analysis using dynamic method. So it resists, it helps, the analysis helps to resist earthquake loads. To design a system connected to tabletop turbine, to design a system for reactions due to slug flow. So these are some of the reasons that one should consider performing dynamic analysis of the piping system using the software in which you are performing the stress analysis. Here in this specific course, I will be explaining the case studies in CZ2 software. So that's all for the introduction or background module for dynamic analysis. Now we will be going to our next module where we will be learning the basic differences between static analysis, dynamic analysis, types of dynamic analysis and the case studies of modal analysis and response spectrum method. method. Happy learning!